Hello everybody, it is Corey from Gemini Guitar. Welcome to the video today. In this video we're going to be exploring the use of thirds within a blackened sort of metal context. Don't forget that if you want to support the channel that's pretty easy to do. Just visit the download store and you can purchase any or all the products and there are some packs available for purchase as well. So if you're able to do that, that will be greatly appreciated. So thirds are basically a scale tone played simultaneously with their third. And to find these out is not too bad in this example because we're in the key of A minor or C major. So I'll give you a couple of examples just so you can get what I'm talking about. So for the first thirds that we play, we've got the A note at the seventh fret on the fourth string, and we've got the C note at the fifth fret on the third string. So basically the eighth Sorry, the A note functions as the root note, so that's the note on the bottom. And the root note is basically the foundation or the starting point from which the interval is calculated. In this case, the C is the third, and it's easy to find out. So if we took our index finger, that can be the A note, and we go then to the next note in the scale, which is the B note, and then the next note in the scale, which is the C note. So we have the number three there. So A is the root, C is the third. And in this case, it's a minor third. And uh, the way that the minor thirds look on most sets of strings being 6-5, five, 5-4, five, four, four, 3, and 2 and 1 is like that. So you'll notice there's a frets gap in the middle. The, the only difference between the minor and the major third is that uh, if we wanted to make this C note a or this a major third, we would just simply raise this note here by a half step or a semitone. So we've got the minor third, and then we've got the major third. On the G and the B string, they do look different because of the way the guitar's tuned. So if you took the, uh, if we took the A note and the C note there, uh, they would actually look like this. Actually, we can do them down. We've got enough room. Almost, yep, there we go. So we've got the A note and the C note. So it's a different shape. In fact, it actually looks like the major third shape that we did on this set of strings. But the major third shape looks like, uh, it's like a little bar chord. You just uh, would fret over the third and the second string in this case. So minor third, major third. So on to proceedings, we are going to play the first group of thirds, that's the A and the C note, and what we're using here is basically a, uh, it's like a triplet rhythm, uh, but I get the feeling the beat feels like a sort of a 12-8 type rhythm. Uh, it's really the same type of feel. So basically you get a... And then when you play it with the notes... So you get that, that type of feel there. So we're proceeding from uh, fret seven and five, fourth and third string, and take note that all of these thirds are actually on the same set of strings. So we will be staying on the fourth and third string. So we've got uh, the fifth position, then we move into the seventh position. So two minor thirds. Then we have our first major third. So we've got the uh, C note and the E note. So our first three articulations will be... We're going to move up then into the tenth position, move back into the ninth position, and then into the seventh position. In the next part of it, we're going to be back at the ninth position, ninth and tenth fret, seventh and ninth, fifth and seventh. And then we're going to do a bit of shifting between those two. So we've got nine and seven, uh, seven and five, and then back to nine and seven. So that bar will sound like this. Now, just for a bit of variation after that, uh, it's 
kind of difficult to hear in the performance, but there's a palm muted open A string. So all you do is just palm mute. That just means palm here resting back on the bridge. And you just get a muffled sort of sound like that. And uh, what that enables us to do is just come in slightly off from where we were last time. So uh, whereas we came in on exactly the first beat last time, this time, of course, we're playing on the start of the beat, but we're not doing the thirds on that start of the beat. See, so it's so you're sort of putting things off a little bit just for some rhythmic variation. So there's that note, and then it's uh, seventh and fifth. So that's fifth position, moving up to ninth and seventh, tenth and ninth, and then ninth and seventh back to ten and nine. Going to move up then into the tenth position, ten and nine, back to where we were. So it's move up for an E minor third. That's twelfth fret, tenth fret. So now we get. Back to 12th and 10th, and 10th and 9th. So those two bars sound like this. And uh, we're going to uh, do some more variations here in the next couple of bars. So we've got uh, ninth and seventh, seventh and fifth, and returning. Up to the tenth and ninth, then ninth and seventh. And then fifth and seventh. Sorry, seventh and fifth. Seventh here, fifth there. So this bar sounds like this. Turning then into the seventh position, followed by fifth position, fourth position. Now this one here is basically a small G major chord. It's just got the root in the third minor, uh, major third. And what we're doing here is we're transitioning into what the chord progression is doing. So it's basically going from a, somewhere around the G, I think, down into the F. So we get uh, this. going to move that shape, that major third, down into the second position, and that's basically a small F chord. And what you want to do there is just stay on that and strum it. Now you would have noticed in the performance I did include the E note here at fret 5 on the second string, just because I like the sound of it. Just gives a bit of colour. Uh, it's a really nice sounding chord. So you can do a bit of the F major third there. And then chuck that note in wherever you want, really. Okay, so I uh, hope you've enjoyed that one. And uh, I'm going to expand on this, I think, for a project. And uh, there's lots of cool things you can do with this sort of thing. So keep your eyes out for that. And until the next lesson, bye for now.